We're all fighting under kickboxing rules here, under the uh, K1 rules, which is the old Japanese promotion, of course. I hate saying K1 fights as well. It's K1 rule set, but it's kickboxing, of course. I'm glad you cleared that up for me, because I did wonder if K1 was some kind of... Um, well, they're back again now. Yeah. Like you say, just a promotion. No, no, the promotion from Japan, the great promotion that it was, is, uh, is back in effect and apparently picking up places again. But here is Sarah at Wellsford from the Falcons Gym. Crowd favourite here, and Claire Clements has come down from Newcastle for this uh, European Pro K1 title fight. Interesting assignment for me. I've never called uh, a kickboxing contest before. Slightly at your mercy here, Danny, but I'll do my best. Yep, good man. Fighting is fighting, as I say, my friend. Good kick. Setting up a lead kick, which is a good, uh, good sign of a fighter from Worsfold. Not easy when you don't tear it up like that. And, of course, the left kick is the weapon where it can tear up everything taller in stature and stature rather Claire Clements marching forward she's been turned around by Worsford and right a good to instruction the from the Falcon gym over there but I've seen her doing privates with Jamie Whelan as well uh, so she's been training down there as well I think looks ready Worsford here doubling up on that Leg kick, just trying to break down the transportation early on in the fight. Oh, got her hands around the neck and through the uh, kick there. Not really supposed to tie on the head there and pull them down. Left and right. Clements is a little bit hesitant as she comes in now. 
They're just trying to batter the legs away here. K1's a little bit different to uh, Muay Thai, which is yeah. uh, Thai rules, where the leg kicks don't really score in Thai boxing rules. The kicks to the body are where all the points are, but K1, they do. All, all effective shots score. Is there any rule about the amount of kicks someone has to throw per round? Or no, or that's the place? old traditional kickboxing, yes. as yeah. we used to see okay. here in uh, England, but it's died of old age, to be honest with you now. And, uh, so if you didn't kick at all, it would, nobody have an issue with that, if you didn't no, want to? No, if you wanted to use your hands and your knees, it would be the different attributes of a fighter. Okay. But, um, well, that's a good combination there. I feel, there. feel like somebody's head. girlfriend Remember? asking stupid questions here at this point. <laughs> this must be how they feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very kickboxing style there when she stood to the left and uh, stood to the right rather and threw that left push kick at the side angle. Looks comfortable in there, Walsford, against the taller opponent. Good kick to the body. And yeah. follows up with long straight hands. I've noticed they throw more straight punches resolutely than, than uh, angle shots. So what, because you know, in boxing, you can tread forward horse. with that lead leg, you see, and you can tread it's on a, it. In here, you can't tread on a shot close in because you're going to get your leg taken. And the uh, whole idea of rolling and trying to land up against and hooks, you're rolling, you're vulnerable to getting needle kicked, obviously. In and the head. Uh, exactly, it's more yeah. important to stay at range, I, I guess, unless you're going to grab somebody, true? Yep, and your feet are a lot squarer as well. Boxers can lead their lead leg much further forward as well and obviously generate the power to get shots in tight and hooks to the body. Kickboxing uh, commentated on a huge kickboxing show in Paris a couple of weeks ago. We're working for the uh, Chechnyans, which is always a lovely experience, I'll yeah. tell you, but gentlemen, as they all are. And, uh, Any uh, plans for Lee to expand into the French capital anytime soon? Oh, oh, no, this, the way EBA is going, I would count out nothing. Brilliant. Claire Clements and Sarah Wilsford Live on MA Action, and I know you'll all be watching in back home as well for up. I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box, and I've got Ben Doherty next to me. And an education to the boxing man of kickboxing world, my yeah, friend. Yeah, this is an interesting excursion for me, as I said. Yeah, strong jewel deep. Can take a little bit of punishment in here. Trying to catch low kicks uh, and parry them, which is never a good sign. Should always be blocking low kicks with your shin. Trying to tee up that jab and fake it and then throw the kick. But both girls kicking to the legs at the moment. That's a great oh. time push kick. Very well timed and off balance star, big points. Equivalent of a counter? It's, uh, <laughs> it's used as a great defence mechanism, but that was more an attack there from Worsford. Now she's starting to try and kick higher. Great shot to the body. That's a strike right hand to the body. I can understand that. That was not esoteric to me. Constantly uh, kicking in the leg there, trying to tap away, but she's not actually throwing her shin bone through the leg where she's treading through it, where you're going to really stop someone there. Good punch to the body and head dangerously low and almost yeah. wore a knee to the face. I, I imagine that constantly, constant kicks to the legs and the thighs is going to tire you out and take away your legs in a, in a length If you've got a good kicker early on in a fight, it's a good tactic to kick the legs. Yeah. Um, also, if you've got a good punch, it's a good tactic to kick high, so they block them on their arms as well. Um, We're now coming to the later stages of the fight. I don't think she's going to stop her with the low kicks. Um, because I think, like I say, I think she's really got to travel through them and really bury that low kick in. But the push kicks are very effective from Worsford as well. And I've got a clearly ahead in this fight so far. I have to say that it looks every bit as gruelling as boxing, if not more so. I think it's a more unique sport, uh, kickboxing, to be honest with you now. The way it's stepped up now in stature around Europe, Holland especially, and Morocco. And, and boxing seems to have just taken, an, it's taken a little bit of the glory out of boxing at the moment for me, kickboxing. But if you like all fight sports, then it should, uh, it should be able to enjoy them equally, you know? There's two knockdowns in this round, although the referee seem to regard that more as a slip. But um, yeah, they're not, they're, 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 not, they're, not, not, they're not knockdowns. They're, she's just off-balanced her and put her to the ground, you know? It's only uh, contact to the head or into the body and taking the wind out of that would really encourage an eight-count or something like that. What's the scoring implication within the uh, within kickboxing? Big, big score there with the kick to the body. What you do is a 10-8 round, same as boxing. Yep. And what you would uh, do at the end of the round is see who is the dominant fighter to take those uh, take that point over your opponent. Worsford constantly going to the leg and he has it responded, hits the body well there though as well. 
This really is about straight punching, isn't it? Yeah. As a pro, you know, um, and and the knees and punching. A lot of people. Uh, and there's less slipping the goes on, of course. So it's more about yeah. the, your, your tight defence. Main weapon of, of uh, especially under the K1 kickboxing rules, the main weapon's going to be the knee to the head. It's yeah. the most powerful shot that uh, powerful shot on the market here, as I say. Yeah. Of course, you've got uh, both girls um, fight under tie rules as well. It's a traditionally Muay Thai gym from up there in Newcastle. Yeah. So they're allowed to elbow as well, which is obviously a very lethal weapon. And why I have many scars all over my eyebrows sitting here in the commentary box. Yeah. But everyone logging in back home and watching live on MA Action. It's been a good fight so far, I've really enjoyed this. Uh, Sarah Walsford's laid it down. She looks really fired up and ready for this fight. Claire Clements has come down from Newcastle and the tough Geordie has really taken her spot here and made it a really, really good fight, competing in, in every exchange. It's gonna be a hard one for the judges to determine, but I think Walsford's done well so far. Both girls look superbly conditioned, you know, because they're, they're, they're not blowing, they're fighting the same pace as the first round. But well, we've seen some boxers on the show tonight who look a little bit gassed by the, by the last round, you know. Well, they're ready to fight, and they're fighting three-minute rounds instead of two, like the boxers right. here. Sure. So the, you know, and uh, it is a more tiring sport, to be honest with you, with uh, obviously using all your weapons. That's what I would have thought, because you can float around and box and on a move and flick your jab out in, in, in boxing context. Yep. Whereas here, you, you, you are pretty much demanded to you use the tools and you you've can't, got. You can't and just hide busy. in the guard, there's, no, there's, no, there's nowhere to hide. You can't go in the guard, you're going to get your legs buried off. And you don't see a clinch where you're taking a little rest in there either. No, you can't clinch in, uh, in, under the kickboxing K1 rules. Obviously, tie rules, you can clinch, but that's even more tiring than being out of it. So. Yeah. Um, it's a good flurry from Morrisford, but she's actually getting um, well eradicated here from Clements at the moment. And Clements is dealing with her quite well in this round. S jabbing through the centre. Good hand combination. K1 is traditionally, actually, K1 rules is traditionally three rounds, and if it's even, you do a fourth round. But they're fighting under five threes, which is uh, Muay Thai yeah. rounds. And both girls are fit for it, you can see that. Yeah, they are. Oh, almost wore the knee to the head on the way down there. She'd have been entitled to throw that because she was off balance and didn't have points of contact on the floor. Will the referee at any point censure a fighter who's gone down too many times in that fashion, like off balance, whatever? Is there any kind of penalty for that? I don't think you get stopped on that in uh, kickboxing, to be honest. You don't often see that, unless someone was being totally outclassed and they called the fight. How about just a warning for being on the canvas uh, multiple times? Uh, not really. Without good reason, as they were, not. Yeah, no, not without <laughs> good reason, no. They're, um, some people are very good at off balancing people and not as good at uh, uh, actually hurting them. Yeah. Some people can do it all, of course. Great shots to the body. She's thrown some good uh, punches to the body, Worsford, which are going to score. Yeah. She's created, that's a step over knee. Step over with the right to take the distraction. Left knee comes straight through to the body. Good uh, technique from Clements. If you raise the hands high, you can blind the opponent so they don't see that coming. Yeah. All action here at EBA, here in the Brentwood Centre in Essex. This is for the IKF European Professional K1 Rules Kickboxing title. Spinning, spinning back fist. Though. Even I knew that because it's kind of obvious. You've got to be careful with the spinning back fist, though. Um, if you mistime it and your elbow catches, you, you're entitled to get a point taken off, you know, if you're being yeah. reckless. Obviously, tie rules, spinning back elbow is uh, perfectly permitted. Yeah. Nice straight right hand through the middle. And dare I say, uh, my co-commentator, Ben Dowie, enjoying a bit of kickboxing here tonight. I am. This is actually a really a welcome diversion and very interesting from an educational point of view. And I do, I've got to give both girls a lot of props. Their skills and their conditioning is, you know, really impressive. Yep. It really is uh, different levels of fitness, uh, the kickboxing. Yeah. I've seen some really huge people lose a hell of a lot of weight when they walk into those kickboxing gyms, which is very good for people, obviously. Yeah. Getting kneed in the face, not so good for you. I think in terms of collateral damage, there's a limit to uh, you know how much risk I'm taking at this stage of my life. But with the you know, nose having been pugilistically reshaped over the years, well, a little talking to down there in the corners, and uh, 
I've noticed these girls don't neither of them sit down in between rounds either. It's no. Not. I chose not to get down there, which is strange for kickboxing. I, I would always opt to I sit down and it. have your legs well rubbed down with ice, yeah. you know. And because uh, you can see the welting on the, on yeah. the left leg. Yeah, just like having the flat iron when yeah. you, you know with the fighter on the ice. That's right. Big ice pack on the legs, nice massage. And you can see the discoloration of bruise in there, particularly. It doesn't seem to stop her. She, uh, no. she doesn't look limp on that leg. Good knee there. Yeah. Sank into the rib cage. I think if she put her right arm. Further over to the uh, left, she'd be able to pull her head down into that. Of course, there's a fine line under K1 rules of uh, how you clinch and pull the head to the knee and how you just raise the knee up to the head. But Walsford looks very, very comfortable in there. Nice tight guard, quite stylistic. Push kicks are really good. That's a proper Falcon Gym push kick you see there. I've seen that from their fighters. And fighters in the past, like Liam Wells and people like that, I've seen from that gym. That almost looked like the equivalent of a feint when uh, she raised a knee well for them and then threw a straight punch. Yep, of um, course, yeah. Interesting. Yep, you saw that uh, clean there, Ben. That is exactly what she was doing. It's a game of chess sometimes. And don't forget these weapons. When you get hit game with a glove, you've got a cushion on there. Game of chess with more pieces. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, yeah. And then, uh, I don't think the glove's any consolation. You've got someone like Tyson clumping you around the face, but no, um, getting a raw bone for, uh, is always a lot harder, of course. Yeah, that's why they brought the gloves in. Yeah. <laughs> she keeps going at that leg, Warsford, and yeah. But and when she brings a kick up high, I think her opponent just stands a bit tall in stature for her to catch her head with it. Yeah. Walsford, mouth wide open, taking in air, but she looks very comfortable in there, doesn't she? She does, absolutely, yeah. I mean, so both girls, the fitness and their uh, pace and poise is very impressive. So tell me, Ben, now you're watching it and you see, they are just fighters, aren't they? You, you, you see a lot of boxing, obviously, but when you see these girls now, fighters are fighters, aren't they? Do you know what, yeah, and I, I think the thing is, I think the boxing crowd, and I'm not immune from blame on this score, we tend to be a little bit elitist and snobbish about boxing is the best yep. and we, te we tend to see the rest of the world fighting more of Charlotte and you know yep. and it's like yeah but well, that wouldn't work in a ring or that sort of man. that's the that's the ultimate test of a man or even though it's obviously open to, to, to the ladies as well now of course but it's impossible to watch these two ladies up there and not have respect for their skills their fitness yep. their technique and everything else you know and I think like you say a kickboxing fighter, shows fighter, a huge could, around the world now as well you know, yeah and uh, you know I'm alright with it I'm not going to my, 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 my love is boxing and that's not going to change but at the same time you know it is you do have to widen your parameters at least in terms of the respect to extent you know. yep my, you've just sealed your tickets for the next kickboxing show I'm on there Ben and we're going to have to uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to get you over my friend no worries I'd, yeah I'd like to well, end of another good round and uh well, of course, this is a five-round fight. So as we go into the fifth and final, when they fight under tie rules, they call that round the money round, round four, the one where you yeah. can uh, really make a difference on the scorecards. Warfighter. Yeah. Judges are often known to leave round one clear, so they can uh, so they can pull over the five and decide who they think is the ultimate fighter to the end of a fight. A lot of people criticise that, but over the years of uh, I was living and fighting in Thailand quite a long time as well, and yeah. over the years of uh, Seeing that style in kickboxing, it does determine the better fighter. This is a good one for the judges to get their heads around. I think Walsford's been very, very busy and shown a lot of tools and done well. I think uh, Clements has been dangerous with that long knee and been a couple of uh, little scary moments for Walsford. But I think she has... Come here tonight, the Falcon Fighter, and done very, very well. Yeah. Tries her own spinning back fist there. Was, Sometimes uh, those special moves, secret moves, Ben, they can be a little bit of a, a little bit of an out of ideas move, you know. Yeah, it does strike me as a, someone you may pull into, not necessarily desperation, but yeah. perhaps if, if some things ideas. are working, it's a strange thing to come out with, isn't it? Yeah. Those knees are dangerous when they're high from. Uh, Clements. Yeah. I'm surprised she doesn't let her hands go and then just throw that knee as high as she can. So I think Wilsford might be ahead here and uh, 
I think she might be chasing the fight. She's cut on her left eye, if you can see there. It's Clements, and there's bleeding yeah. into her right. But you will not be stopping a cut like that in kickboxing. Good, powerful combinations here as Walsford walks forward and the uh, crowd behind her delivers the shots brutally to Claire Clements, who's now still in this fight, but I feel just getting pushed back now. Yeah, she's going to have to have a good look at that eye. Which gives breathing for uh, Worsfold, who takes time to blow a kiss to someone up there in the audience who's supporting her and supporting her very well, may I just add, because they are getting behind their girl here. Yeah. She blinks and she does not want to be stopped for that cut. Fair play to her. This girl is Warrior Brand from up north. They breed them hard up there, you yeah, know that, don't no. you? For sure. Well, and they'll walk around um, in, in the, you know, the height of winter and not much more, you know, as well. For, for, so they, they all <laughs> she probably wears them. her shorts when she's out. I could, yeah. have, could almost lay my money on that, yeah. Well, so it's a bit of a lowbrow comment for somebody that actually has impressed me this spectacle. You know, both girls... She's been, she's, been, she's been really, really good, Clemens. And it's never easy to go to someone's backyard or course and fight. No. With a uh, big support behind them, you don't know what to expect. You're always thinking that you've got the judges against you. And yeah. It's always that sort of thing. I mean, the damage on the face of Claire Clemens tells the story of the fight for me. Just a little bit more accurate, uh, Walsford's been. A little bit more busy and use yeah. more tools. She looks more comfortable in there too. She looks like someone who feels that she's winning. Yeah. All the attributes of a fighter, isn't it, Ben? Like I say, you fighters as fighters. Composure, yeah. you know, yeah. skill set, fitness. It's, uh, that's why I'm such a fan of all fight sports. Yeah, blood now pouring from the eye of Clements. And that will just uh, breed confidence into Sarah Wellsfold, who has really impressed me tonight. And she looks like she's come prepared. And I think she is going to go home tonight. A very happy girl with an IKF European professional kickboxing title. Yeah, she looks like she's put the, the drum roll on this now. She's having the best of, of this round, uh, you know, and she's really, you can see the confidence. Go, yeah, she's putting everything in the arsenal together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the aggression's still there as well, which is good. I think she feels she is less at the pace better and is stronger than our at this point. Well, that goes oh, down really? as a very, very good fight for Sarah Wellsfold for me. I've called fights before and I've come unstuck with the uh, judges, but for me, that was a very, very good fight for the uh, Falcons gym fighter. Fair play to Claire Clements, who's come down from Newcastle. Never easy to come to someone's backyard and she laid it down. This girl is Warrior Brand fighter. Down to your judges. Thank you. 